In this video I'm going to work out an individual limit and I am going to take advantage of this property, the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x equals 1. So in this limit right here I've got the limit as x is approaching 0, I've got sine x over the cube root of x. Alright, so that sine x is already in the numerator setting up nicely for what I have here, but in the bottom I've got an x to the one third. Okay, so let's actually rewrite that so we see that as a fractional rational exponent there. So the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x and then x to the one third. Okay, now I know that I can um, separate this rational fraction into two other fractions being multiplied together. Okay, so let's do that first to get that sine x out by itself. So let's go the limit as x approaches 0. Uh, so we'll leave it 1 over x to the 1 third times sine x. Okay, just separating it like that for right now. So because this, I need to have an x on the bottom, and then this, I really need to get rid of that x to the 1 third on the bottom because that's creating the problem. All right, now, you've got to think in terms of rational exponents and laws of exponents, okay? Is there a way that I could rewrite this expression and it be equivalent to this, okay? You are doing a quotient, so think of x raised to some power over x raised to some power. What would those powers need to be if I to subtract them to get a negative one-third as an exponent, which would then get go to the bottom? It might take a little bit of playing around with the fractions and with the numbers, but if we try an x to the two-thirds over an x, that would be an x to the first, okay? Use those laws of exponents. When dividing like bases, subtract the exponents. Two-thirds minus one would give me a negative one-third, which I would move to the bottom there and make it positive. So these two expressions are equivalent. I still have that sine x out here. Okay, now I don't need the x in the bottom here. I need the x in the bottom over here. Well, when multiplying things, I can multiply them in any order I want. So I can just move that over to the limit as x approaches zero. This could be x to the two-thirds, and then this is going to be sine x over x. Okay, probably ought to show one more step there. All right, <clears throat> I can use properties of limits and take the limit of each of those individually. So the limit as x approaches zero of x to the two-thirds times the limit as x approaches zero of that sine x over x. All right, in which case this is going to be one. And on this one right here, I just need to do a direct substitution. So when I do a direct substitution in there, I'm gonna have zero raised to the two thirds power times one, and zero times one there will give me an overall limit of zero. Okay, so um, kind of straightforward after you get this manipulated so that this sine x over x shows up. The hardest part is coming up with an equivalent fraction or a way to rewrite this using those laws of exponents so that it gets you that x in the bottom so you can move it over. Um, but definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping you, don't forget to share with your friends so that they can benefit as well. And also please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.